The president's speech indicates only a slight shift in his position, and it may be much less than what many want. Action News reporter Gene Hagenson has some local reaction to the president's words. And on opposite sides of this difficult debate. The president cited military progress in Iraq, but to political science professor Ken Martins Friesen of Fresno Pacific University, it doesn't sound like success. You can talk all you want about military progress in Anbar province and some movement there. But fundamentally, nothing has changed on the political level, which is, of course, what has to happen before anything really, really changes. Friesen saw no surprises in the speech and in some ways believes the president is playing for time. My own sense is that um, President Bush is simply trying to keep things going long enough that hopefully there's some kind of political uh, rapprochement or some kind of political change eventually that actually can, that he can point to. Unfortunately, that just has not happened. Congressman Jim Costa says the president's plan to bring troops home is much less than it seems since the troops were scheduled to come out anyway. And Costa, a Democrat from Fresno, is aware that frustration with the war is growing. Over almost 70 percent of the American public, you know, think that it's not worth the effort. And what's most even more disconcerting for me and many others, I suspect, is, is that almost 70 percent of the Iraqis wish that we would leave. Costa has himself been the target of anti-war protests for his votes to continue funding the war. But activists believe his support and that of Fresno Republican Congressman George Radonovich may be shifting. And so he's moved a great distance. Um, it's not clear he's moved to where he'll vote against funding, but uh, he's moving. Um, Radonovich has moved somewhat. Um, so it's really hard to know at the end of September when the vote on funding comes just how many people have moved how far. Despite the president's call to stay the course, the pressure to move appears to be growing. Iraqi war veteran Delphina Clark served as an army intelligence analyst. She feels the wind of change in the air and worries the momentum will pull us out of Iraq too soon. I didn't agree with the president. I didn't think we should have went to the war, but now that we're there, I think we should stay till it gets fixed and it's going to be a long time but it's really our fault that all of that stuff happened so the president has asked everyone to hold tight until march when general david petraeus provides another update on the war but anti-war activists believe the next vote on war funding set for just a couple of weeks from now will reflect the changing mood of the country all right thank you